Well, I think that ladies and gentlemen, let's keep it rolling with bat number two. Coming out of the blue corner, all the way from the blue corner, Angus McLennan. One win coming by way of knockout, fighting out of the Gold Coast, ladies and gentlemen, Angus McLennan. And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the wreck on a chamber, Laos Tui, out of UFT Playgrounds, an absolute MMA, with an official weight of 59.65 kilograms, a fight record, seven fights, six wins, one loss, one win coming via knockout, Fighting out of Berwick, Victoria, he is smoking Joe Cavatea. The referee in charge of this contest is the Bryce Birthwistle. Both fighters, white crew, Ramai. Mark Stady and Frankie George. Right in the corner's not bad, is it? <laughs> Here we go to the second fight of the night. Smoking Joe in the red. Angus McLennan in the blue. Nice sharp right knees there. Nice elbow there from Joseph. Nice left knee there from Angus. Big right elbow on the way out. Beautiful uppercut there from Joe. Beautiful left kick there from Angus. Left kick reply from Joe. Both boys exchange hands in the middle. Oh, nice left there. Just, just misses off the gloves on the way in. It's great to hear. You can probably hear it through the effects. Microphone Laos is calling out for Joseph to chop, chop. And as soon as he did, he chopped away at the legs. Really well. I'm loving this fight so far. Both fighters just standing right in front of each other training. Angus trying to walk forward to try and engage in the clinch. Big left, big right. Big elbow oh, big elbow. Angus on the way out too. Joe's eyes are a little bit clouded now. Angus trying to capitalise. Nice upward elbow on the way in. Joe's got to keep his head up there as both boys now lock in. Joe locks up. Just glancing uh, Joe's forward. Tell you what, the first half of this round, I had it all Joseph. He seemed to be controlling young Angus, but Angus has really turned around this second half of the round. Absolutely. Both fighters delivering some 
really good blows, whether it be feet, hands, elbows. Great to see. Great to see. Fetcher though, big kick and shame. Beautiful team to the face there from Angus as well. That's it, just giving Joe a little bit of a shave with his heel. Beautiful knees in the clinch. Viewers at home can't tell, but we're sitting right here in the corner. And those knees, you can hear the thud. Angus has thrown that big head kick a few times. I'll tell you what, if Joe doesn't get out of the way of it, it'll be lights out. Another elbow there, just missing Angus. Angus locking in, nice left knee, two, three unanswered knees. Another one from Angus. Joe's really got to start to get to work in the clinch. He's trying to wrap it up, but Angus is landing some beautiful knees there. That straight left knee just really hit right into the guts of uh, Smoker Joe. Lovely right kick there from Angus as well. Another left one. As you said, Bushy. Angus number one. Angus is really starting to find his rhythm now. Smoker Joe came out hard, but there, look at that beautiful right knee. Beautiful crossing elbow there from, from Smoke and Joe. But Angus just wasn't phased again, just continually walked forward and really turned around in the second half of that first round. Absolutely. Joe just had it all opening up, but then there was uh, about halfway through the round, Angus just threw a beautiful, uh, I think it was a right-left, right-left combination that really, uh, really knocked Smoke and Joe. Nice kick is shame from the boys. I, uh, Angus starting to get quite comfortable there in the later half of that round with some solid knees. And I think uh, the pressure in the clinch there is really going to uh, start to take a bit of a toll on Joe. So let's see what the boys have got in round two. Ladies and gentlemen, just to remind the wonderful people from Janine Hipster in the back of the venue, if you want to give yourself a feed, also great puppies available at the back. Round two. Here we go into round two of this three round battle. You are watching Rebellion Muay Thai 18. Both fighters just trading fantastic blows. It's anyone's game at the, at the moment. Relentless pressure from Angus from the moment that boys touch gloves. Big left leg on the way in. Beautiful right there from Smoker Joe. Lovely counter there from Joe. Angus just seems to have the clinch sorted out. Yeah, I think if uh, Angus stays on the inside, he's really going to uh, give Joe a bit of pressure on the outside. Joe's got some really clean hands. He's moving the drill. Pops another punch there. But Angus is just putting on so much pressure. Just keeps work, walking forward. Might have been a low blow there. Joe just uh, adjusting himself. It's like a bit of a mouse appearing under the left eye of Joseph Coverdale as well. I know there's a couple of kilos weight difference, but uh, young Angus and Sian catch, catch weight at 59 kilos. Oh, beautiful right knee there. Oh, Joe's smelling a bit of blood. Just countering some hands from Joe with some beautiful kicks there from Angus as he pushes in in the clinch. Back out again. Joe's really head hunting here with those big. Uh, those big to love it, the old three three-minute rounds. They just get straight into it, don't they? <laughs> no time for small talk. Angus starting to show some signs of fatigue now. He's not able to uh, put the pressure that he was in the first round. There we go. Oh, beautiful left knee. That was massive. That was fantastic. His troubles on the way out. Angus rushes in for another knee. Joe's breathing a bit heavily for my liking. Nice right there from Smoke and Joe. Well, Joe at the moment is just trying to, he's really relying on his hands, whereas Angus is coming in, he's got the hands, he's got the kicks, he's got those beautiful step-up knees just like that. Absolutely, he's taking some of those hands on the glove and pushing forward, laying big, look at that big left knee there, solid. So much pressure from Angus. Another right knee return. 
Joe circles out. Got to love it too. You got Bryce Burt whistling there. These guys are going hammer and tong, and he's telling them to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, give me a break, will you? <laughs> Best seat in the house. <laughs> round yeah, two. What a cracking round two. Here we go to the replay. Who's going to fire off first? There's Smoke and Joe. Nice left, right, and an uppercut. Not quite getting through, though. Great defence from Angus. Angus with those step up knees. I tell you what, he's really punishing Smoke and Joe. There it is. There it is again. I returned the favour with this cheeky little uppercut. But Angus, I mean, that's been the story. Joe's been throwing really great fists. But Angus is keeping his guard up nice and high. And then, like you said, Bushy, Angus just keeps changing it up. Whether it's a knee, an elbow, a punt, to kick. It just, he just keeps coming forward. This is the third and final round. Here we go. This is only the second fight of the night and another cracking fight. Both fighters want to take it out. Angus coming in passionately. Joe's moving very quickly, but he's on the back foot a bit. Both fighters very determined to leave everything in the ring. They don't want this going to the judges' scorecard. Yeah, you can hear through our effects microphone that Laos 2 is just calling for Joseph to push it up, but he's just not getting the chance to get in close to Angus. That's it. Angus is just initiating at all times. A little bit of a height advantage for Angus as well, so it's a little bit tough for Smoke and Joe to get those fists all the way from himself delivered to Angus. Nice leg kick there from Smoke and Joe. and just keep walking forward. I mean, a lot, a lot of hands being thrown, but not a whole lot landing. They, they're taking on the forearms. Angus just taking them on the gloves and just pushing forward and landing some beautiful, beautiful knees on the way in there. Absolutely. I'd oh, love there's another left one there. Certainly it seems that Angus is getting the upper hand in this three-round battle, but I'd love to see this go five rounds and see what kind of steam he's got left in the system. I'll tell you what, nothing makes my eyes warm. Oh, no, no. Or this. <laughs> There's a point. That's it. <laughs> Just have, have a look at that replay. There it is, yeah. Popped a bit of shit there. That's a bit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bit of, shit in, bit of shit in the shingles. And he's a tall boy, but There's a fair bit of shit there, too. Here we go. Oh, we're back into it. Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, such action. There are those knees in the clinch. Joe comes back with his own knee there, which is good to see. Nice left-right combination. I'll tell you what, if this did go for our rounds, they could be the deciding factor. But Big Ang hands there by Joseph. But Angus just seems to have it sewn up. Step through elbow. Nice knee there from Joe. Joe tries to get the takedown, doesn't quite make it. Just missing that downward elbow. Oh, Angus lands his own one on the way in. Kick and change. Joe leans back and evades. Both fighters want it so badly you can taste it in the air. Ten seconds down, here we go. Too late, I think, for, for Joseph. I what think this one's going to go the way of the blue corner, but I tell you what, this is the second bout of the night. <laughs> this is what, what Rebellion Moore is all team. about. What can you say? Here we go to the replay. And Joe really did turn it on. Joe Cutting there, Cutting there. Hanging up with Much better round from Joe, but still, like, you know,
know, a lot of the a lot of the leather was going on the arms, and uh, yes. Angus was replying with some really clean shots. Joe did a good job in the uh, clinch this round as well, which is good to see firing back with his own knees. But I, I think, just as you said, maybe just a little bit too late, a little too late in that one. And certainly, look, Joe had a lot in his arsenal. He was throwing beautiful left-right combinations, but as you said, Andrew. Angus just had those fists up, had that guard up just too strong. And Nick, it goes back to the point you said earlier, I'd love to see this over five Oh, minutes. absolutely. Let's see it. Come on, make it make it happen, Sainaji. Mate, I'd like to see uh, Sian and Angus get it on later on. Hopefully if uh, Sian grows a little bit, uh, fills out a little bit as he gets older. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we're going to the judges' scorecard. Your first judge score the contest, 29-28. Trevor Clown, your second judge for the contest, 29, 28, to Coverdale. Your third and deciding judge for the contest, 29, 28, to Clarion via split point decision. Blue Corner, Angus McLean. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a split point decision.